Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle Stream. So we're going to go ahead and do some World Tournament here today, first and foremost. But also, let me turn this down just a little bit. I have a treat for you guys. We're going to go ahead and finish off this Broly because I just kind of was like, oh, yeah, you know, Global Now has the update. So, uh, you know, and they've had it for a while, right? So it's like, yeah, now I should be able to do that. So I <laughs> uh, hope you guys have fun today. And, uh, you know, the, the tournament isn't, like, super particularly good. My goal is just to mainly go ahead and get the... Uh, the items and stuff like that, you know, the orbs and stuff. That's all I really, really care about. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, and also, I wanted to go ahead and just take a really brief moment to go ahead and share this out over on Twitch and on uh, YouTube and stuff. But uh, yeah, just for just for Twitch today, no stream on YouTube or anything like that. This is not going to be a simul stream between the two. So let me go ahead and just take this really brief moment, like I was saying though, to share this over on uh, Twitter and stuff. I've actually already put out a little video and stuff, so people can go ahead and check it out. And. Uh, I guess there's a World Tournament Support Pack. I just saw Zahal's tweet. That's that's awesome. <laughs> oh, man. I won't be picking that up. <laughs> Alrighty. So we are all good. What's up? What's up, Tug? <clears throat> don't worry, Ajak, man. Uh, I'm like the only one on here. Oh, yeah. For now. For now. Don't worry, man. Hopefully more people uh, <laughs> funnel in. But like I said, I do have a social treat for you guys. I wanted to finish off this Broly. Uh, because now global does have the opportunity to do that, you know, a lot faster. Uh, is it the opposite of D free D fee? Oh, <laughs> thanks for the bits, bro. <laughs> I didn't charge you a bits fee. You decided to give it. <laughs> thanks. Uh, from Israel. What's up, man? Thanks for tuning in, bro. All right, bro. It is finally time. Hopefully I have enough orbs. I have enough orbs. Okay, cool. We're good. What's up? Twitch life. <laughs> I'm experimenting with, uh, you know, singular Twitch streams a little bit more, so. I'm not clicking on that. I'm clicking on the little thing. Why? What? Come on now. Why is the detection way off? There we go. It was acting like I was clicking way off in the corner when I really wasn't. All right, there we go. Uh, alrighty. What's up? Hey, we got a new follower. Yes, thanks. I appreciate it, man. Alrighty, those, uh, last little bit in this corner. Sub for the follow, thank you. Uh, we'll be going to TwitchCon. I actually won't be. I don't really have the time uh, to be going to any other conventions. Like, I was going to go to the Dragon Ball convention as well, but I, I wanted to. I just can't, unfortunately. Uh, but I heard it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, doubles right there. When is it? Maybe. I'll have to double check. Maybe. Uh, I assume you're going, though. All right. I think that's it. Yep. That 100. All right, there we go. 9:45 a.m. Is it? <laughs> I'm happy that you were able to tune in, though. You know, it's pretty early for you. It's it's actually midnight for me, but yeah. Uh, how are y'all getting bits? You just buy them through, uh, I believe. I don't know. Do you, I don't know how all that works, to be honest. But I know that YouTube or Twitch, excuse me, gives you the option for it. Uh, Nano is streaming now too. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I didn't plan that, but it's okay. Uh, just surprised. Oh, I see. October 26th to 28th in San Jose. Oh, that, San Jose is not too far either. Like, San Jose is just a couple hours away from me. So, I didn't know it was that late. It's very possible I can make it. So, I'll, I'll have to definitely look into that. Uh, thanks for the follows, guys. But, yes, we did finish off Broly. Let me go ahead and send him back to his uh, his normal self. Because now he's rainbow starred. And I, unfortunately, don't have the new Rosé. Oh, that was a really ugly sprite. I don't have the new Rosé yet, anyway. So, for now, we are going to be using <laughs> the old janky Rosé, as I like to call him. Uh, but, you know, he's still BB, though. He, he's still he's still fire. <laughs> uh, just Rainbow, the AGL, Bulma, and Vegeta. He's kind of a monster. He's really good, actually. He's, he's really, really good as a free-to-play unit. Uh, so I can do easy A Broly. Oh, I see. Um... You, did you do the multi summon? If you do the multi summon, I, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure it's live. If you do the multi summon, you should get that and you should be fine. Uh, it's 9:45 a.m. right now. I woke up a couple of hours ago. Usually everyone are dead asleep at this time, and I'm alone. <laughs> oh man, I'm sorry to hear that, but it's good that you woke up at a good time. Then let's go ahead and jump into the 2.5s. Uh, I'll take the good rose, right? Does that actually? Well, no, leader skills don't matter anyway, so. I have not played the World Tournament in so flippin' long. It uh, it it honestly feels weird. Like I just I don't even know what I want to bring anymore, how I want to bring it. It just it feels weird to me. Um, I bring the AGL orbs. 
it honestly feels ridiculously weird. I don't know how long I'll be able to tolerate it either. So we'll see what we can do. Uh, what's up? Oh, a bonus. The Dragon Ball Saga's man is, is uh, historically bad for me. Uh, yeah, it's pretty bad for me too. Bro, I just woke up. Nice. Great timing. Are the bonuses up here? Yep. All right. Well, of course, it says it on the top. Of course. I, like I said, it's been ridiculously long since I've played the tournament on these games. <laughs> uh, I'm broken stones. Oh, I see. That makes sense. <laughs> You're close, though. I mean, you don't need a whole lot. You're close, though. All right. Um, I'm just going to actually leave them the way they are for the most part. I don't have to overthink this right now. I could have left Broly where he was. All right, Rossi, some Super Saiyan Rossi. Uh, oh crap! It's still on one X. But I just actually transferred it to my computer for this stream from my phone. God dang it! Now I gotta wait for an additional normal or something. All right, so moving it in the next fight, I'll, I'll make sure that the first attacker gets a normal attack. <laughs> What's up for the follow, man? Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh. I'm just doing it for the missions and I'm out. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's what I'm doing too. Look at Broly. Additional supers though. If it was an additional normal, I'd be set. Also, on a side note, how the heck did he survive? <laughs> how even did he survive? What did I miss? Did I like look away and that was the first attack? Please don't tell me that was the first attack. Something wonky happened there. It looked really weird, whatever. Uh, do you still get tickets for multis? Yeah, way off in the yonder. Bonus meme, dun dun dun. Uh, there, there are two new boss rush stages coming to global, which means a bunch of stones. Yes, that is true. Fire Tuck, <laughs> thanks for the follow Fire Tuck. You got the Ultra Super first. Oh, that's why, duh, I forget. Ultra Super is not AOE. I was like, wait, what the hell just happened? All right, I get it now. I look away for a sec. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the host, man. It's like, yeah, I'm not used to wanting the AOE attack anymore. So my bad. <laughs> Whoopsie. All right, so now I got to make... Oh, this is perfect. I can just make sure Frieza stays in the first slot. Actually, not necessarily. Freaking Rosé uh, can go in the first slot and attack that Vegeta. I will actually change these into blue orbs because Majin Vegeta is horrendous. Unfortunately, there's only one, though. Or two, I guess. Ah, oh, I'm going to play bad for a little bit. I can already see it. Drop some more blues. Or not, because you just want to give all types of orange orbs. Oh, just short of the Ultra Super, too. Oh, no, there it is. There it is. All right. Yeah, there we go. Cool. There, there should be a setting for that. I don't know why there's no setting for that. That's actually dumb. Uh, how far can Easy A? Well, all the Easy A events go up to 999 stages. Uh, I mean, does the Rose Banner still give tickets? Oh, I don't think it does. Not anymore. Hey, thanks for the four bits, Water Wolf Two. I appreciate you. What's up? Thanks for tuning in, man. Uh, okay. Let me actually double check Raditz so I don't get confused again, like I did with uh, friggin' Broly. Uh, when facing two or more enemies, automatic weekend is all targets. Cool, we're good. What are it? What are it? There we go. And uh, those are for you, Broly. We Gucci. There we go. Uh, yeah, Raditz hits everybody. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Still really wish I could have used the other rosé, but it's fine. This one's good enough for what I'm doing now, anyway. Pretty sure he's good for the tournament in its entirety, to be honest. This double rosé rotation is not actually the business, but it's fine. For now, those are for you. And uh, green orbs. Green orbs, they go to you for, for Broly. Just take out Broly, and we'll save the blues because Majin Vegeta's coming up next round anyway. And he'll get his Ultra Super. Majin Vegeta's the wild card. That's why I decided to add in... Uh, and uh, what's his face? Raditz. Because it's like, you know what? Maj Vegeta is really good, but he could be a wild card if I don't get the Ultra Super. So I, I don't want to deal with the inconsistency of maybe not getting it. Uh, my Raditz is rainbow because why not? Hey! <laughs> nice. 
My Raditz barely has any orbs. I have the orbs for it because I haven't used a lot of orbs recently on Global. But I just, eh, I ain't about that life, man. I ain't about to do it. Uh, but I want to. I really want to. Uh, fine. I was honestly considering kicking Majin Vegeta off and just keeping Raditz on, to be honest. Not because he's better, but just he's a little easier to trigger the Ultra Super with. But it's fine. Lazy Pup. Thanks, bro. That's ridiculously hot in my country right now. Over 105 Fahrenheit. Yikes. That's pretty hot. That's actually really hot. <laughs> Is Raditz actually viable on times 30? I have no idea. I've, I haven't played that deep in the tournament in a long time. A long time. <laughs> uh, I don't have Broly, so unfortunately I need to find a Broly friend every time. Uh, if you have any AoEs, you'd be fine. You just got to stall a little bit. You know, you can take the turn or things of that nature. Just stall just to where you're able to get them back and use them again. You'd be set. That preliminary actually took quite some time. I got to speed this up a little bit because I ain't trying to be here for six hours getting trying to get 20 wins, man. I really ain't trying to do all that. I, I definitely ain't about that life. I'm like melting. I hope that, uh, hopefully, man, uh, <laughs> it cools down because that's ridiculous. I, I just, I hate having, you know, issues like that when it comes to weather. That's how it is in the summer here in Cali, man. It gets really bad, really hot, really sticky and humid. Um, and it just sucks, man. Ultra Dukan. And somebody else was before that. I'm sorry, but thanks for the follows, guys. Uh, you don't have STR Rose? Not yet. <clears throat> I did one summon. Yeah, one summon. And uh, unfortunately, don't get paid, or didn't get paid uh, until tomorrow, which is about to hit. So I had to miss the whole banner period. That it was like, you know, get one free and stuff, which sucked really bad. But um, I plan on going back in. And getting Rosé and Vegito Blue. Because I don't have either right now. Uh, it's funny how the preliminary is the hardest stage of the World Tournament. It definitely is the longest one. <laughs> I love how I just got hit with the Super this early, too. Nice try, Rosé. Nice try. <laughs> uh, I'm surprised they haven't come back on JP yet. What? What hasn't? Uh, oh, Rosé and, and Vegito. Yeah, I don't think they have at all. Like, JP is kind of stingy with those units. Actually, they're very stingy. I hate the summer. Me too, man. It sucks. Hey, we're getting a lot of followers as well. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, and I was wondering why you're using AJL Rosa. Yeah, I said that a little bit earlier in the beginning of the stream when I 100% in my Broly. I was like, oh, you know what? I was kind of waiting on, on Rosé, but I don't have him yet, so I might as well just kind of use these red orbs. <laughs> and I was like, oh, yeah. I've been sitting on some Broly dupes for a long time over on Global. Until they put in the uh, update. And I was like, yeah, let's just do that. But yeah, no STR Rosé for me yet. Unfortunately, I got to use the old school one. But old school one is good enough to get it done. The main issue is the lack in defense and HP. That's the main noticeable thing. I mean, of course, offense is a thing. But like the defense and the HP, it's so much more better, uh, of course, whenever I have that ad uh, added survivability you know, and stuff like that. So that's mainly where I'm seeing it. We're going to come this way. What's up? Turn to 02 and 2 to 03. <laughs> Toronto did that tonight. Rip Toronto. Ah, uh, oh, Majin Vegeta, you're killing me, man. I don't want to have to use this, but I'll have to because he's like really bad with this. It always happens every time, and I knew that was going to happen. But if I do this, it's fine. I just don't want to have to do that. Thank you for actually getting it. And hey, two more key is not a possibility, actually, because never mind, I forgot. Uh, we'll give you this, though. Will Goku Black be viable for the three key? Ooh, yeah, I forgot Goku Black gives three key. Uh, on global, anyway. The recommended videos, though. I know, right? I forgot to uh, switch it up for my last one that I put up. So I just kind of left it as is. But yeah, honestly, I wouldn't run... Uh, Goku Black because I like Turles because Turles technically offers 5 key. So, otherwise, he'd be the best one I'd run over Turles. Or, I guess, Frieza because I don't know how much I value Frieza right now because Frieza's just here to block a hit. But I'm not getting, uh, getting in a position where I need somebody to sit there and block a hit yet. Yay, Corrin's here. Yes, exactly where I want it to be. Not really. <laughs> Bernie, what's up, man? Uh, I seriously need to move from my parents' house <laughs> when I'm 18. But, like, when, nah, no more, don't worry about it, man. Seriously. Uh, what's it called? Mooch off of them as long as you can. And I meant that in the best possible way. Like, seriously. The longer you can stay there, go for it. 
Look at this douche. That douche has Vegito. Get off my friends list. Freaking uh, DG. That's one instance where JP got the shaft. <laughs> I put at least 250 stones in the Vegito Blue Blender and kept getting SS4 Goku. Yeah, me too. You saw, I mean, I, I did it in the video. It was like, bro, SS4 Goku will not leave me alone. And it's like, I freaking love the unit. And I can't call him bad because he's not bad. But, you know, in the most kind way, bro, fuck off. Seriously. Like, I don't want you at all right now. Like, seriously, you're not supposed to be here. This is not your video. <laughs> but, you know, it just got really frustrating after a while. And, and I'm sorry, but he just kept popping up. <laughs> all righty. Hey, thanks for the follow. Yo, I subbed when you did that tutorial on how to beat Broly when he first came to Global. Bro, that was so long ago. <laughs> You're the real MVP. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. That was so long ago. The game has changed so much. There's not even a need for tutorials like that anymore because the game's not, not really that difficult. I mean, like, if you're a new player starting out, sure. But if you've – oh, my goodness, Broly. If you've had your account for any semblance of time, you don't need a guide for a lot of that stuff anymore. <laughs> oh, man. I have to go to the military for three years anyway. We'll see. That works. That's great. I mean, my little brother just did that. He uh, just enlisted in Air Force? Yeah, Air Force. And he's got a cool little office job going. So, I mean, it works. You know, you get the benefits and, and you get paid and all that, man. More power to you. Uh, tell him 21. That's not bad. I think that's how long he's going. He, you're about his age. Uh, I can get one. This is for Go uh, Goku dupe to save my life. I need one to get him crit 20. Hopefully, next time he shows up, you can get him. Because he's awesome. Like, freaking incredible unit. I'm sure you know that. Uh, but he just was so, so common. For me, anyway. Oh, hey, our first completion. Yes. Let's go ahead and move on. All right. I still remember trying to beat Perfect Cell back when I first started playing. That and Kid Buu were tough for me. Yeah, those events were ridiculously hard. Uh, Kid Buu was really, really hard. Um, and then it just it was annoying trying to farm the, the Fat Buu on that stage as well to turn it into the Super Buu because at that time, that Super Buu was really, really good, use of, uh, you know, useful. And uh, it was just ridiculously hard trying to play that, but also Cell. Cell was disgustingly hard, and you needed very, very specific units to even consider playing against Cell. But then, you know, the man Gogeta came out, and no matter what you were running, what you were doing, every team you wanted to use, whatever event you wanted to take on, instantly turned into always using Gogeta as a leader. And then from there, we entered the damage meta. <laughs> Are you farming for rank? Nah, I'm just farming for, for the um, the top like rewards or whatever. I don't care about rank at this point. That is not my goal, unfortunately, anyway. At one point in time, it was my goal. I would wake up and play all day and night and, you know, every tournament. I just ain't got it now. You know, with, with my priorities these days, I, I ain't got time for it. I'd rather just be able to chill with you guys and talk to you guys and play and stuff. Rob, Raditz probably can't one-shot 30 times. Yeah, I'll probably have to dip him later. I'll probably have to put another tank in his slot anyway, so I don't really mind. Uh, I remember using 10 stones just to beat Broly once. <laughs> well, Broly was actually a really peculiar case because you either needed Blazing Battle, which a lot of the free-to-play units, like the Super Strike units, which rip them, they don't, they literally are irrelevant these days um, in the worst way. But, you know, a lot of those units had it or like the Broly, like Family Kamehameha characters that are supposedly getting an extreme Z awakening I don't want to say supposedly because it's confirmed but like one of these di days eventually they should be getting it um, but you know if you didn't have those characters you had to slug it out with Broly and the best way to do that from there was to use uh let me put Raditz here because I, th I think Raditz might be able to do it the best way to do it from there though was to use um the uh, Kaioken Goku because over time because you signed up for a long battle otherwise right so over time Kaioken Goku which just continue to get his attack up and then eventually you'd be able to finish him off Broly was actually disgustingly hard if you couldn't meet those conditions though and you had to really take your time and fight him so uh, Cell was guaranteed to super in that first slot yeah and he still is I played it recently um, I think it was on boss rush or something I don't know what it was but I played it recently and he's that freaking douche still guaranteed super there and I was like what the heck why why are you still doing this nobody cares anymore 
Nobody cares. And I don't recall exactly if we had less item slots back then. Somebody might be able to be more specific on that. But it's possible. I think we did, actually. All I know is that, again, the damage meta changed the game. And uh, it was never the same again. I used five stones to beat SS3 Goku. I went off turns. <laughs> yeah, Kaioken Goku was busted. I uh, first woke up, got on my... Got on my got him first single, but since I was new uh, to the game, never dope on him. I got Devil Man to get his passive once. Yeah, Devil Man was clutch. He was really clutch, like early game. He still is technically. I just I don't necessarily need to use him anymore. But early game, there were times I used him, but I just couldn't deal with resetting the app a million times until I got the passive to work. That I didn't have the patience for that. <laughs> and I'm just admitting that I don't have a lot of patience. I guess. <laughs> I really didn't have the patience for Double Man and his antics. It just wasn't for me. Uh, lucky luck. Screw off, bro. Just because you have him. Don't, don't, you ain't got to taunt me like that. Uh, people are driving me crazy, and I'm going to get so triggered. No problem, man. Well, thank you for being here. I appreciate it. The stream will be up later. Uh, so if you want to check it out, it might even make its way to YouTube. So we'll see. But thank you, man. Already. Already, though. I haven't said that in a little bit. I've been saying that a lot lately. <laughs> And Topo. No, no, Jiden. There we go. That's the other one. Uh, keep calm, man. EZA Super Vegeta will be so disgusting. He'll be ridiculously good, man. That that character, uh, whenever that does happen, will be busted. There's no confirmation of that yet, if anybody's wondering. But that would be ridiculous. Y'all remember when Super Vegito dropped and changed the game? Yeah, he was... Super Vegito's introduction, the AGL one, was ridiculous because he was just a different kind of busted. He came out with a whole new mechanic and everything. Just a different kind of busted. It's funny that he and Broly came out with two of the most busted mechanics in this game in the built-in additionals and the counter hits. You know, and that's just crazy to me. Uh, they introduced those mechanics. But, like, Super Vegito with those counters and the tanking ability. The tanking ability is what really set him off. And over the top, Super Vegito allows you to clear any type of content in the game where Gogeta stopped being able to be a viable leader, uh, you know, just a little bit after that. Around the time SS3 Gotenks came out, which I believe he was the next Dokkan Festival, is when things started to get pretty hard for Gogeta to be a leader anymore. But there were some old, like, memes of, like, the uh, the god cards, and it was, like, Slifer, Obelisk, and Raw. And it was, uh, instead of Slifer, it was Gogeta, and instead of Obelisk, it was uh, it was Vegito, and then instead of Raw, it was uh, Physical Broly. So it's like those were the three best cards in the game for a bit, and Super Vegito just freaking took over, and he's still incredible. Freaking AGL Super Vegito, he uh, he gets slept on because Physical exists now, but he's still ridiculous, man. He's crazy. Oh hey Vegito, looks like we're uh, we're we're doomed to to meet up here, buddy. Uh, he definitely changed it. Yep. I cannot beat any event. <laughs> uh, Broly, you can stay in the front because I'm pretty sure that. Okay, if we can, I was saying if we can get a super, I'm pretty sure that we win this round. It won't even matter. See, this is what I mean with Majin Vegeta. He's actually kind of annoying to deal with. He's nice to have, of course, but he's kind of annoying. Oh, Broly with the level three dodge. <laughs> uh, D free equals Jiren. Oh, what do you do? <laughs> Two years from now. Oh, wow. This new EZA for LRS3 Goku with 300% attack up isn't optimal. Because <laughs> he is hitting 10 million. Ain't that the truth? Hey, all the followers. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. <laughs> I go under 50% on purpose just so my LR Vegito can crit counter. Yeah, me too. You see me doing showcases because I, I, I realized way before they even came out, I was like, wait, these are cool and all. But we're kind of caught up in hype because if you can even come close to building the best possible Vegito team or Batara team, you'd realize very quickly that it's actually really hard to get under that threshold. It's like, bro, seriously, any semblance of it, whether you have the LRs or not. Like, for example, uh, of course, you'd have the LR leader because that's the one we're talking about in question. But if you don't have LR Tekken and, and Goku Black, LR Tech, uh, Goku Black and Zamasu, excuse me, fine, right? But there are other units that can put in that slot, like uh, oh, this guy with a thousand day Goku, like um, you know Int Zamasu, for example. He can be a viable option there. Uh, LR Vegito Blue, if you don't have you know other units like you know Physical Vegito Blue or what have you. No matter what happened there, the Patara units were just so versatile defensively 
that it was going to be incredibly difficult to, to formulate the best or to, to use a semi good team and to get below that threshold. Which is why I think, can you stop running away? Which is why I think that um, since then they've put an RNG element on the last couple that have come out as well. Oh my, wa mo shindru. No! I am not already dead! No! All right, Frieza, how about you go there? Um, because, because why not? Uh, come on, bro. Are you joking? Are you serious? Are you serious? If I do this, I swear, if I get a super, I feel like this is going to be a super if I change this. I'm pretty certain this is a super here for Majin Vegeta, an ultra super, that is. It's almost like he wants to be off rotation. It's literally like he wants to be off rotation. It's just so I can get the ultra super. At least freeze is still useful. Uh, I thought it was so good because I had the tech Vegeta who did the big bang attack. <laughs> I've got a rebirth, but it's dog. Yeah, I actually thought he was really good too for a little bit. When they first got those rebirths, I was walking to work one day and I was like, yo, these guys are fire. I was like, this is lit. I still hate the art, but this is lit. And then I was like, yeah, he's actually not that good. And I said this during the time he came out, which of course we didn't have the power creep that we have now with millions and millions and millions of damage. So... <laughs> Uh, he'll be busted if he gets an easy A. Yep. Physical Broly's actually really good. Like, he, um, he's basically like Kale. If you watch Physical Kale, like, I've actually done showcases of both of them at 100%. Physical Kale is better, and I use them both on the same team. Uh, she's just better, just flat out, offensively. But they play almost exactly identically. He just hits a little bit worse. Um, but yeah, Physical Kale is actually busted. <laughs> but Broly, he ain't that far behind. Oh, speak of Intzamasu, I saw you up there. There you are. Such a nice unit. I love that unit. He's really good. He's really good. Really underrated. What's up, man? I still remember Nano's video where he was so happy to pull STRSS3. Yeah, I remember my video. I was so happy to pull that guy because that was one of the units I wanted so bad. And I chased for a really long time and dropped a... Uh, you know, an unholy amount of cash on and still didn't pull that unit. And I was like, bro, seriously, on that banner, I was so disgusted. And then he came back with a uh, STR cell, the 100% leader STR cell, the demigod one. And I was like, yes, I can finally get him. And instead I pull cell like six times and I dropped like maybe like a solid thousand stones, which at that time, you know, we didn't have this whole epidemic of stone sellers and stuff. And uh, so, of course, that was all full price and, you know, all out of my pocket. That was a lot of stones. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> I was just freaking pissed. I was so mad. And then I got him on a banner later. Like, I did a whole uh, Dokkan time machine for it, uh, which I need to do more of those. I haven't done one in a bit, but I did a whole Dokkan time machine for it. And it was pretty interesting the way I broke it down. If you want to check that out. But, yeah, STR SS3 Vegeta was one of my favorite, most coveted units. He really was for a long time. I should have actually retargeted this. I don't know why this targeted... Physical black. I don't know why it auto-targeted him. It's almost like it set me up for failure. If that's a, su if that would have been a super, I could have low-key died there. Uh, what's up? <laughs> you won the war. <laughs> oh man. Well, I don't know if the. I, yeah, I guess I, I didn't. Uh, I didn't win the battle, but I won the war. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> oh my gosh. One sec, one sec, one sec. We're still here. One sec. I got to take a quick drink of some water. Your boy's thirsty, man. Oh, man, we're back. Uh, I see we got 170 viewers on Twitch, too. That's fire. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. What's up? I'm still farming SS3 Goku's SA, which I got him off of, like, the Thousand Day Manor. Oh, man. Good luck. <laughs> uh, when GT Goku transforms during the tournament, I know, right? Uh, I'm already ranked 20 overall. Can't wait for it to drop away in, like, five minutes. Are you? You've been grinding, man. But yeah, if, if, the second you go to sleep, you wake up at rank 7,000. So don't worry about it. Don't don't feel too accomplished. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's how it be like with the world tournament. I remember that. I, I would be like, yes, I'm so high. I'm doing so good. And then I fall asleep and I was like, oh, okay. 
I guess it was all just an illusion, right? It just it wasn't meant to be apparently. Um, these are why am I getting such bad orbs? Why have I gotten such trash orbs? Like seriously, what what is actually the deal here, game? Why are you why are you shafting me like this? Why are you literally giving me the worst possible orbs? Through and through, it's just give me the worst possible orbs. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That would be one key short for an ultra or for a super. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna have to change my team up because I'm not gonna deal with that. I am not going to deal with that. I'm not gonna deal with that. At least my items. I think I'm gonna bring a second orb changer item because I am not going to deal with not getting supers. At the very least, they're getting uh, you know crits on their normal, so that's helpful. Additional, please, please, please. Ah oh, man, come on, Brawly. Seriously, seriously, Brawly, as people call you sometimes, Brawly, Brawly. I don't do the whole Brawly, but yeah. Uh, Brawly. Brody Senpai. All right, they got reds. Those weren't reds. Those were oranges. But they were for the red unit. <laughs> I forgot to put a night. Oh, what time is it for me? It is 12, 13 a.m. Uh, fan art revival. Don't do not do that, man. I know that. I know. Okay, I know. I know I need to bring back fan art revival. <laughs> I brought it back for one week, and I know that I'm, I've been sleeping on it. I just got so... And I don't want to use it as an excuse because I use it as an excuse every time. But it's the truth, man. I got so swamped with stuff. <laughs> so, Fan Art Revival will return uh, within the next week. I actually tweeted out the other day. If you guys don't follow me on Twitter, make sure you do, though. I actually tweeted out, like, actually earlier today now that, well, yesterday, technically, because the date changed just now. But I actually tweeted out recently, basically, that um, I'd be uh, doing uh, a lot of new games this week and just a lot of new content in general and fan art revival could be part of that too because it's not necessarily new but it kind of is because i'm getting new subs every day and people you know haven't seen the original fan art series and stuff so this is kind of a waste but not really it's okay uh i want three more dupes of str broly which one both of them are really good which one you got to choose one which one <laughs> when you get god rush bonus for the finals oh yeah oof I saw that there was some new ones actually on JP's recent tournament. I think there was like an LR team or stuff like that. It's pretty wild, man. But uh, God Rush, I remember, was really good when I used to play the tournament a lot, like consistently. Uh, using Androids is the closest I'll ever get to having a Broly of my own. <laughs> no, you're fine. Don't worry about it. You'll get a Broly. I assure you, man. I assure you. Oh, man. We got 175 people live. Thank you. I appreciate it, guys. It means a lot to me. Alrighty. I did it. Did you? Some of those cards were way too broken. Of course. Uh, why don't you use EZA Broly instead of LR Broly? Also, it's uh, 3 o'clock. Why do I use or why don't I use? Because first and foremost, this Broly is better than that Broly. That there's, there's People try to say that he isn't, and uh, I respect opinion, but it's like, come on. There's not a reason why this guy wouldn't be better other than defense. I don't need the defense. Um, and also, on a secondary notion, it's just easier for this guy to get the supers off. You know, it's just easier for him to clear content. Uh, but that's why. Also, I don't... Thanatos? Oh. I don't know what I do or don't have at this point, to be honest. Because <laughs> I just fluctuate between two accounts so much. I kind of feel like I have them, but I also kind of feel like I don't have them fully easy aid. So that's just the thing. How good is Ant Raditz? He's okay. Uh, he's nothing special, but he's okay. He's a solid, you know, fun unit, a fun free-to-play unit. They've been dropping a lot of, you know, solid free-to-play units recently. Can Why do they run away? Why do they run away? Seriously, for what reason, Rose? Get your butt over here, bro. <laughs> Freaking hell, man. Stop. All you got to do is come my direction. Thank you. Uh, Easy A Broly is good in the, in the tournament. Yes, I know he is, but so is this one. <laughs> my issue is not with Easy A Broly. The only issue I've had at all with any of the units on my team is uh, Majin Vegeta because Majin Vegeta gets his ultra super later because he gets it at 18 key. Otherwise, I wouldn't even have had the issues I've had. So right here, this is an ultra super naturally for him if I change these orbs. It's just I have to change the orbs for him, which is why I bring this. But yeah, I mean, I never said Easy A Broly isn't good in the tournament. <laughs> they both are because they both do the, um, the all targets attack. So that's what makes them really good. I will not sleep until I get that 30 win streak. Oh, well, hopefully you get it soon, man, so you can get your sleep. All my LRs are free to play. don't have a single summonable LR. You know, I was saying this earlier, uh, or yesterday or something like that, uh, on a stream I was doing. It might have been earlier, but nonetheless, I respect the free to play ones just a bit more because, you know, the whole, like, summonable ones comes down to two things. 
it comes down to getting really lucky or spending enough money to brute force being lucky. Um, and, and the other ones require dedication and time and spent and stuff like that. I actually appreciate those ones a lot more personally. Uh, all the free-to-play ones come down to accolades. The other ones just are, again, either money spent, luck, or some combination. Because, I mean, you do have to get lucky regardless of how much you spend, you know. Because um, you can drop however many stones you want and there's still a chance you don't get what you want. Technically, right? Um, so, that being said, I, I, I respect those ones a bit more personally. Uh, I remember when D Free used to have a character art for his face cam. <laughs> uh, Rhyme used it the other day in his Dragon Ball Legends video. Every now and again, I break out. Uh, that's called that's called the um, the troll cam. Yeah, that's what I call that. It's just you know, uh, back then I didn't have a webcam. I use my face cam more often now, but I'm not I'm not in the mood to use it right now because I'm being a slouch. So. Oh man. What's the answer? Bro, don't be talking about my rosé like that. He's still the big kahuna in town until I get the STR one. Hopefully, I can get the STR one tomorrow, though. I'm very happy he went first because I was honestly going to go left. So, since he went first, I know which way to go. Uh, going to go up, get these fours. All right, catch these hands, boy. El Gogeta and Vegeta will be featured so you have a better chance in theory. Uh, yeah, so the, the chance is better. It's God dang it, Frieza. Are you joking? Come on, Frieza. This is your fault. This is literally your fault. This is literally your fault. Oh, hey, Jocko. I told you. Man, I forgot about the Jocko strategy as well. Oh, hey, the orbs lined up for me nicely, though. I think I might go back to using my Jocko. Six, seven. Oh, it's one every time. Or two in this scenario. But if I had a PFB unit in the middle instead of Frieza, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. You know what? That's fine. I'll have Majin Vegeta next round. So I'll just make sure that I take this turn because there's too many AGL attacks. I don't know why I even brought double Broly's anyway. Apparently, I'm either tired or too focused on the chat. Okay, good. Additional super for me, Broly. Please! Of course not. Oh, man. Okay, Majin Vegeta. Actually, we'll let, we'll let Turles do it, to be honest. Uh, not Turles, excuse me. Uh, Raditz. We'll let Raditz do it, just because I can save an item. I don't have to use an item. Yeah, that's it. Raditz should be able to clear these guys. All right, there we go. Uh, I'm about 500 deep, and it just hits me right in the artery. That's all. Oh, I don't understand the context. <laughs> when you really think about it, even if you brute force money uh, to getting summonable LRs, it pales in comparison to the intensity or insanity that is getting LR Gohan. Are you talking about the the one that you get from um, having to put up with Super Battle Road? Yeah, that one, it's pretty stressful. Super Battle Road is very stressful, but, you know, it's just one of the things that makes me appreciate that Gohan and the units that come out of it. And also, spending my cash to get LRs doesn't feel super great. Like, I, I, I lack gratification when I spend a chunk of cash. Like, I don't mind spending money, right? I just don't want to spend, like, a grip of money. <laughs> and when I have to do that, I don't feel as good about it. Because it's like, well, I kind of feel, like, entitled and stuff like that. So, uh, that's just how I am. Like, I, I can't really, like, for example, if I were Truth, I, I wouldn't. And this is, I'm not saying anything, you know, disparaging to him because I understand uh, that he enjoys it, but I just would have a hard time being super excited about anything anymore. Because, I mean, the boy already's got thousands of stones. So, like, for him, it, it's a testament to how much he really enjoys the game and his account, to be honest. Because I don't know if I could be excited. And I don't know if I could even fake excitement. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, finally, about time. Give me that. You know, because I'm entitled, bro. <laughs> uh, okay, let me go ahead and move over here. Get that five. That five. I wonder if, what's in that gold capsule. Though. That's the real question. Spent at least 150 stones on Bojack and got him. Nice. Got pretty lucky. I actually, I think I used like 500 on Bojack and didn't get him. And I was like, yeah, I'm not going to try anymore because the issue with me and Global is it's kind of like, you know, since it's not my main version, all Global winds up being is just me spending money on the same exact stuff twice. That's all Global winds up being for the most part. But kind of hold back on it unless I want to drop like a dedicated video. Like sometimes I want to just do a Global video, all right? And that's what I do. Uh, like right now, like there's not really much reason for me to be streaming this or grinding this. I just kind of want to. For some weird reason because i guess i haven't done it in a long time and i kind of want to 
Uh, but, you know, I, I typically just like for me, it's like, bro, I, I, I kind of already have done this. I've already spent on this and bought this and stuff. So <laughs> uh, the ally that I want right now is Goku Black and Zamasu, but I'd be happy with Gohan, Broly, or Vegeta. I mean, yeah, <laughs> they're all really good. They're all really, really good. <laughs> oh, that additional attack. Thank you. I would consider bringing the fruit of tree. Yeah, I will. I'm going to change this up. That's what I used to use, and it's just, it's like I haven't used this, played this mode in so long that I kind of, I'm not super in tune with what I want to do anymore, and it sounds weird to think that way or, or kind of say that, but it's just kind of, my mentality is so used to showing off units and stuff now these days that I'm not used to this anymore. So I'm going to have to find, uh, find tweak or, you know, fine tune my team in a minute. Would you think an LR Pride Troopers card would be good? It would be pretty awesome. I got every free to play LR except uh, LR Gohan. Hopefully soon for you, man. Ant Raditz is my first ever Raditz that has an AOE super, so I'm happy. Uh, he's the only one in the game that has an AOE super, though. But yeah, he's really nice. He's really helpful. Uh, Ryan was triggered on the Vegito banner and ended up pulling him on a single. Yeah, so see the thing about the, the LR Vegito and Gogeta banners is honestly, I can tell you right now, um, global, it, don't don't get like your your hopes super high. Because their rate is not very good. Their pull rate is not very good at all. It's really not. Um, they have, yes, they're featured. Yes, they're uh, summonable LRs as well. Their rate is somewhere in the middle between normal summonable LRs on featured legendary banners. And also kind of like between like that and just a regular SSR. Because it's not super high. Like it's not a super good rate in comparison. But it's also not a very bad rate in comparison to summonable LRs that are featured on legendary banners. Uh, but it's not a good rate. Like, it's it's honestly not that good. I don't have the exact number up right now, but I just know that it's not super good. So there's a good chance that, you know, a lot of people are going to walk away salty as hell from that banner. Uh, or those banners, technically. So. Uh, what's the world tournament reward? Tien and Chaozu. Tien and Chaozu would be local rewards, but this time around, it's just, it's just a crappy SR trunk. So I'm not really playing for the reward. I'm playing for, like, the orbs and stuff and the stones. <laughs> What's up, man? Thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. Guys, if you're watching, make sure you do go ahead and follow your boy. Appreciate it. Uh, light speed. No, it's God speed. Let me go ahead and change this up a little bit. Switch it up. 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 Uh, I'll go back to my villains because they're just typically better for this anyway. Still really salty about not having that STR Rosé right now. But let me just go ahead and load this up. I'm going to grab some of these units I know can do really good. Mm. Reddits. And. I kind of want to bring Frieza again, to be honest, but I won't. You can come. Get my team cost up a little bit, too, so that'll help. That'll help a little bit. Higher team cost. Better opposition you face. Oh, Goku's on the right. So that's a bonus fight. Thank you. Uh, hopefully next tournament. Yeah, I think they come out next tournament for sure. Oh, he's coming my way. I love it when they come my way. Baby, won't you come my way? That was cringy as hell. Because my voice is cracking now. Because I'm tired. Uh, okay, so Raditz, you can stay in the front. Uh, okay. And I don't have to change anything else at all from here anyway. Cool. The only saving grace will be that it, uh, will be the step up banner possibly. Still, uh, I would still temper expectations, but yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> you think UI Dokkan Awakening is coming? I did a video on it. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it's coming. Uh, I'm going to drop another one tomorrow just to kind of clear up a little bit because there are a few things that kind of went unsaid, but yeah. Um... Just because I was kind of winging that video, and you couldn't tell towards the end. I was just like, ah, well, let me make sure I say this again to make sure that people understand. Because I didn't want to kind of set too much expectation or give false hope for this or that in particularly coming. But there's a lot that could potentially happen. And there's actually some new stuff I came across recently uh, since that video that I'm going to have to talk about tomorrow in a video. So stay tuned for that, of course. But I'm pretty sure it's coming. What's the best category to grind for LR Ginyu or LR Goku? There isn't one in particular. That category stuff for farming is new to the Frieza category, or to the Ginyu uh, category being used in the Frieza event. So it just kind of doesn't really matter what you bring, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, that, that didn't really exist. And it's actually ridiculously busted because what happens is Frieza gets really easy and quick to farm. 
due to that. And uh, if that was a thing, like in the in the past, if they had that idea any sooner, you know, for example, it would have been so helpful. But it's, there's not a category for it. Uh, I guess if you're on JP, you can use whatever free-to-play team you want technically, though. You can use the same team, right? <laughs> it's just not really going to give you the bonus drops. Uh, almost all rainbows? Yeah. Soon, man. Soon. Global's my main uh, Global's my main whale to count anyway. Like, I, I, I mainly use my JP, but a lot of my LRs are ridiculous on Global. Uh, okay. Four this way, baby. Four! Heck, Vegito Blue, was he worth the orbs? <laughs> when I do stuff like that, it's like, come on, y'all. I understand why people are like, come on, bro, seriously. Da, 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 da. But it's like, it's really just me using the title of the series. So if you notice recently, I haven't been doing it as much. I've just been kind of uh, uh, using the thumbnail because I still have the template for the thumbnail and I like to use it and it looks nice in my opinion. Uh, and I've just been using a different title because it's like, they're going to tell me it's worth it anyway. So most of the time I don't do it anymore just because <laughs> but I like to show off my 100% units and I, I basically took over the was he worth the orb search on YouTube me and Alex were doing it for a bit he kind of got out of doing it as much or at all that for that manner so <laughs> I pulled depression on those banners <laughs> oh my god what's up man Denixter I appreciate you for being here uh, remember purple stone guys for 120 lead if you're uh, pay to pay yeah it's just the issue with that is kind of like I guess uh, I mean, if you if you pay, you probably have all of them, or most of them, anyway. Like, when that came out, I was like, sure, I'll take another Broly dupe, just because I could use a Broly dupe, I guess, because I need two more dupes. To this day, I still need one more dupe in Broly, but yeah, on JP. I just kind of didn't care about it, because some of those units get re-ran so often, it was just like, yeah, whatever. Okay. So we are now in the quarterfinals. Uh, cooler is not the right friend. I guess that's how I took that Broly that one time. I actually just kind of rushed through it. Uh, I never thought Alex would give up on Dokkan. He hasn't given up necessarily. He just kind of doesn't enjoy it as much, which I guess is fair. And, and I've actually seen a lot of people experiencing that from, from people that are, you know, subscribers and stuff to, uh, content creators. It's just, you know, for me, that's not going to happen to me because I... I enjoy it on a different way. Like, a lot of people enjoy it in different ways, but I enjoy it for one reason and one reason alone. I like exhibitions with teams. That's it. And that's why I can kind of just sit there and do so many showcases because that's all I care about. That's all I ever cared about. That's all I ever did. <laughs> so, you know, I don't really mind it. And I know that a lot of new people have popped up in the last, like, six to eight months and stuff, and people have gotten a bit more popular in the community. But that's, that's something I've always done, so I'm just going to keep doing it. So I... I don't think Alex, like, I've talked to him about it. He, he He's kind of in a position where he doesn't want that to be all he's about, and he's kind of freaking out about that. And I get it, because if you notice me as well, I kind of, I expand myself. It's like, I do a lot of games, and I'm going to keep on trying to expand. Um, but YouTube honestly puts us in a box where it's like, you know, you got popular for this one thing, so stick to doing that. And it's like, well, what if I stop liking it? Your channel instantly dies. So Alex is trying to, you know, maneuver out of that. But, you know, for me personally, that won't happen. <laughs> But, yeah, he, he's just kind of doing his own thing now. Like, I commented on one of his Smash Tab videos. I was like, man, just keep doing what you enjoy, you know? And he did a Dokkan video recently, maybe yesterday. I think he did pretty good. Oh. Uh, rip everyone that did the LR Grime when they first came out. Yeah, I did that too, and it really sucks. It actually makes me salty. Like, some, so much of this game makes me salty, and it's predicated on being fast and being impatient. Like, stuff like giving my Jiren Kais, that actually made me ridiculously salty. To see that there was a tech gear in. And it's like, that's cool for the community. I love it. But at the same time, I can't help but be salty because my, my Kai's are wasted. It's like, you ain't going to give me my Kai's back. So <laughs> what happened to those Kai's, game? And I, where are my Kai's at, right? So, yeah. <laughs> that actually made me really salty, though. Uh, seeing these LR campaigns and stuff. But the good news is, at least for LR campaigns, the incentive is already done. You still get the... You still get the rewards anyway, so that's cool. I mean, I, I didn't have to do much for, of anything, really, for the previous couple. Uh, I literally can never get any unit when I want it. Like, I spend so many stones. Uh, I think 500 on Tech Vegeta Blue, but no joke, got Rosé on a single. I'm happy you got Rosé on a single, first and foremost. Secondly, I actually had that issue for a long time uh, earlier on in the game. Like, it was ridiculous. 
That's just kind of how the nature of these games is. <laughs> oh, man. But he comes back later on. Unfortunately, Global might put him on, you know, the LR Vegito Banner. You never know. That would be freaking godsend. JP decided to shaft us out of it because he had been recently on there. But it's possible. You are literally not someone I need on my team right now. Oh, man. Oh, a bonus chance. Um, let's go. Uh, I'll go this way. And there we go. I'm honestly tired of Dokkan releasing units before their events. Tech Jiren being released after STR as a travesty. Yeah, it really was. That was actually stupid. And they've only done that with Jiren and uh, and Goku. I don't know why, but they did that. Hey, thanks for the bids, bro. I appreciate it. Uh, Fitzulus Gaming. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. And you also follow. Thanks. <laughs> uh, do you think this world tournament is easy to get below the 10K mark? I would say, I don't, I don't want to say it's easy in particular, but I would say it would be easier than some of the other ones simply because of probable lack of competition. Just because uh, this event has been talked bad about, like this tournament has been talked bad about from day one. So I'm going to assume that a lot of people are just going to ignore this tournament because it's, it's just kind of a throw-in tournament because they, they obviously needed one to match the tournaments up the way that they wanted them to be matched up. That's all it is. It's just something that they threw out there. Uh, meanwhile, on JP, SS3 Bardock has yet to return. And I know, that, that actually really sucks. I need him. I really actually need him. <laughs> I'm one of those uh, people that got a duplicate set of orbs rewards for LR Android's campaign, but I'm still going to nag about three other stones. <laughs> oh, yeah. Didn't, didn't they give, like, double Kai's, too? I wish I got that, man. We got 220 people live on Twitch as well. Thank you. I appreciate you guys for being here. It means a lot to me, honestly. And uh, hit your boy up with that follow so you guys can uh, interact with me here on the channel as well. And chat it up. Chat, chat, chat. Talk, 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 talk. Let's get the chat going. Uh, trying out my Duke Heflopatora lead team in the World Tournament. <laughs> Smoke Mob. And I saw a couple other guys right before you. Thank you guys for the follows. I appreciate it. Uh, they did the same thing with Khalifla. LOL, you wasted guys on her. And then showcase, and she became far. Well, yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> I didn't do it for Kale though, uh, but well, Kale technically isn't farmable. But yeah, <laughs> freaking Khalifa too. They always do that crap. It's like, oh yes. And I, you know what they did recently? You know what the most recent one that actually made me salty? Not so much Jiren. You know, he made me salty, right? But not as much as Android 17 and 18, the tech ones. I had literally just got them done maybe a week before they dropped uh, as farmable units. Uh, I was like, are you kidding? They released Android 17 and 18 units in the game to where they, you can farm almost every version of those characters. And I'm like, wow, what a rip on my Funky Kais. My green Funky Kais, they got decimated for no reason. <laughs> I was so bad. I, and those were the ones... Those were actually the ones that I got from uh, completions in uh, Super Battle Road using that little trophy thing you get. I, I exchanged them for green funky kites only for those characters to be farmable shortly thereafter. <laughs> oh, I was triggered. I was so bad. I really was. I was like, this is, if this isn't the biggest freaking, oh, this game. Did you really miss it? Come on. Are you kidding? Freaking Vegeta, man. Every time. At least I know Broly has my back. Yo, Loki, if that Broly tries to super me, <laughs> Loki, if that Broly supers me, I'm dead. So I love how this guy rolling up on me with a full LR team showing off. Mainly full LR team. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, Khalifa is farmable. Uh, Freaking uh, Kale, though, no. But yeah. Again, after taking a break and did a few multis, got SSR on everyone. Uh, thought it was something special, but my cousin said that every multi is a game. Yeah, so on JP, every multi is ssr the the way you know if you pulled something lucky uh thanks for the follow man the way you know if you got something lucky is uh every unit before the last one the last one is your guaranteed pull so that's how it's always been but yeah for sure hey thanks for the bits do you think we are getting an ss3 bardock before or after the three-year anniversary i'm gonna talk about that tomorrow in a video uh but i think definitely before just because there's still another two months there's still another two months and, and a couple weeks or so, a week or so uh, before then. So they have to fill content. And Bardock's been in the translation for some, quite some time. 
Uh, but I'll, I'll have some evidence tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. The one advantage Global has, we know they're going to be farmable eventually, so we don't waste guys. Yeah, that is one of the biggest advantages Global has in relation to JP, and a lot of people kind of overlook that, but I would love the ability to have that on JP, like knowing what they're going to do in advance months ahead like that. I don't like the whole like time back thing when it comes to getting units and stuff, but boy, does that help being able to know. Because even for me too on Global, it's like, oh yeah, I'm not going to waste this or that on this character. Thanks for the follow, man. All right. SS3 Bardock may be used as bait prior to the three year. Yeah, he definitely will be. Do these event? Do these even do th anything? The bits? Uh, yeah, it's like a dono. It's like a donation to me, so I appreciate it. Give me just one sec. I need a new water bottle. I'm out of water, so give me just one sec. I'll be back in like a minute or so, guys. All right, I'm back. Uh, don't worry, I did the same thing on Dab Tanks. I traded him for a Baba Shop, only to see that a few months later that he was getting a rebirth. Yeah, it actually is really annoying, not knowing when it's coming and when it's coming. Uh, I'll keep them as they are, yeah. We're good. Reading is overrated. Confirmed. I agree, man. That Raditz is coming in clutch. I know. Raditz is actually really good, especially, like, early on, like, He's not going to be super great later on in difficulties unless he gets, like, crits and stuff, but... Or unless, I guess, he was at, like, 100%, maybe, but he's still really good. Uh, one right here. Awesome. Hey, we got 100 bits from X Team Codex. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate the support. It means a lot to me. Uh, and you didn't leave a message from me, but thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, we're two months and maybe two or three days from the third anniversary in global. That's enough time for at least four more banners. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Bardock will most likely come in that time period. That's that is plenty of time for them to put out whatever they want. Like that's a lot of room. Well, I know what I'm gonna do this phase, and that's just literally key in on everybody that wants to target me. So, see ya. <laughs> Uh, you guys don't want Bardock. Nobody ever runs him on JP. <laughs> Nobody runs anybody after a week on JP. Like, literally, the only leaders you'll consistently find will be, like, Vegito leaders. Or uh, not even as much Rosé, but Gogeta LR you'll find. Otherwise, good luck finding almost any leader, unless you specifically have people added that almost always use that leader. The first time I've ever felt the regret of not rainbowing a free-to-play unit, Raditz. <laughs> yeah, Raditz will be really good, like, later on, if he's rainbowed out. Like, if he is, he's going to be kicking butt. Uh, okay, so, Broly. You can be there. And then Raditz Kun. Take the orbs! Take it! There we go. So, I'm, I'm assuming that we'll have enough to take out everybody. I should have actually sent Bro uh, Broly after... The Goku Black there. Hopefully Raditz can do it. If not, I think Vegeta's normal attack should do it. Oh, wow. I grossly overestimated how much HP they had. How far do you think I can one-shot? Uh, I don't know. Somewhere around 20,000 or tw times 20. I really can't approximate it because I haven't, uh, haven't played that deep into the tournament. And honestly, when I say I haven't played the tournament, I mean I haven't played the tournament in a long time. Like, I'm talking almost a year now. So, like, I haven't tried. Maybe I played it a little bit, like, uh, you know, but I didn't pay attention. I just kind of played it just a little bit. Waifu leader rebirth Swen? Please, no. I bobbed so many of them. I don't want any more. I don't want any reason to own them. I just, please. Because when they rebirth, they'll be on a banner again, and I, I can't deal with it, man. I just, I can't. Uh, Broly! And, uh, crap. Crap! 
I'm gonna take the chance. I'm gonna roll the dice that uh that uh Majin Vegeta won't try to super attack me. I'll have type advantage too, so I'll roll the dice and I'll assume he won't try to super attack me. I have a lot of Rainbow Khalifa on my friends list. Do you? Lucky. You think that is going to ever release a Garlic Jr. or a Slug Unit on Dokkan? Probably one day. Do you actually care about those characters? Seriously, because like I, I get asked that a lot, to be honest. And I, I'm so surprised at how many people just... Oh my gosh, I thought the Vegeta was supering me. <laughs> I was, I'm so surprised at how many people out of nowhere, uh, you know, just kind of... Uh, <laughs> Kind of like those units or those characters, I guess. So, uh, seen your videos daily for months. Weird to see you on Twitch. I'm on Twitch all the time, man. <laughs> but thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be a little bit more of both. So I'm gonna be uploading to Twitch, you know, a lot more consistently though. Just going forward, I'm gonna take this. Yep, yeah, Dokkan and Dragon Ball doesn't have a lot of waifus, just in general. They're not, it's just, it, there's not many that you can really call out. Because that's not what they're predicated on. My Int Raditz pulled off a level 5 dodge. Oh my gosh, the memes! <laughs> oh man, they don't need them. <laughs> they really don't, to be honest. But it's just kind of like, even if they did need them, the game doesn't have material for it. There's just not a lot of characters. They're going to be using the same characters. Uh, and unless they're going to show some erotical, you know, that's not even a word, but like, you know what I'm saying, lewd looking images of Bulma or something, then I don't know what else they could really do. <laughs> so, <laughs> what's up, Bandai? Where we get the Bulma lewds? <laughs> uh, Vegeta, prime solution for you. How about you get all these blue orbs and just beat everybody? And he barely got the Ultra Super. Thanks, Vegeta. This is the only time I'll ever ask you to purposely give me your Dokkan attack, and you're like literally being rebellious. Uh, and I can play Dokkan Battle all night. Nice. <laughs> oh, man. You got plenty of time. Uh, when will we see the SA10 Devil Man showcase? Don't do that, bro. I ain't got Kai's for Devil Man, nor will I pull 10 of them. <laughs> Can confirm, I am in 20 times difficulty and Rainbow Raditz can one-shot most units still. LRs and some physical units will take another hit. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. I figured about that point he'd start petering off just a little bit, you know, damage-wise. Alrighty. Uh, Khalifa best girl. <laughs> Kefla, man. It's all about Kefla. How can you not like Kefla? She's literally Khalifa. She's literally Khalifa. Uh, speaking of waifus, I'm sorry, D3, but I pulled the Lin yesterday. Wow! Wow! I still don't have Lin, but I'm going to try for her tomorrow. I'm going to try for her tomorrow because, I, my, you know, your boy got that power of the credit card reloaded. About to get reloaded tonight, and we about to be on. I'm going to wake up in the morning and pull for Lin. <laughs> so we're going to be on. We're going to try to get her before she leaves. <laughs> but congrats. They have the naked apron Conan and Blazing. Do they? How are they going to do Conan like that? How are they gonna do her like that? She's paper, that's not fair. She doesn't deserve this. She doesn't deserve that treatment. Oh, hey Vegeta, how about, you know, you and I kind of connect so we can give you all these orbs again? Because apparently that's all you want is just you just want blue orbs, so whatever. Are you freaking serious? Wow! I probably should have went this way. Wow, Vegeta. Oh my god, even Rose is getting his. Ah, oh, you're so annoying. <laughs> uh, but I love you, baby. I love you, my baby. But still, like, damn, one key short. Ah, oh. <laughs> Kefla's Bay. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, my Kefla's 100% on JP. She's so good. She's really good, man. Uh, the one thing. I would love to have on Global is the Dragon Ball Heroes cards. That'd be really nice. I'd appreciate that. I'd enjoy that. All right, Best Girl Raditz about to finish it off. Because Vegeta couldn't do it. Best Girl Raditz, real. Okay. Ellen Mars and Vegeta <laughs> and the Shaft go together. 
But yeah, I forgot to bring the freaking fruit. I'll have to bring the fruit. Either the fruit or uh, the shoe item. One of those two. <laughs> Damn it, Majin Vegeta, stop! <laughs> uh, reset. Yeah, I thought about it. I just don't want to take the time. I didn't necessarily mind. I just didn't want to take the time. Uh, okay. So we are now in the semifinals, baby. After, like I said, I told y'all best girl Rose was gonna, or not Rose, uh, Raditz is gonna finish it off, man. I, I wasn't playing. Oh, hey, items. How about you get off and you get on? Okay, let's go. Fenrir Chaos Blade X. Thank you for the follow, man. <laughs> Why does Arale, Why do they just throw away events like Arale? I don't know. Like they never brought the Arale back a second time on Global. They just kind of do weird things, man. I don't know. A lot of times because licensing, but I, I can't help but think that just sometimes they just don't bring them out just cause. Maybe they weren't popular. So. Uh, I'm gonna take this because screw Bojack in the first slide. Sorry. Um. That. Sure, because why not? I mean, Maj Vegeta would want those technically, but I have Broly, so it's fine. Nah, Frieza best girl. <laughs> oh, man. I haven't watched it yet, but uh, uh, once I watch your weapon crafting video, I'll start playing. Nice, man. Definitely check out Don Maji. Very fun game. I actually have it running on my phone right now, just grinding auto right now. Uh, low key, if they release the UI banner. Oof, double attacks. With the Dokkan Awakening, we'll most likely hit top grossing. It's possible. That banner would be a trap banner. It's a good banner, but it's going to be a trap banner because we know it's coming in, you know, a couple months. So, but yeah, it'll, it's very possible, man. 212 people live on Twitch. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, my Kefla has one path open in his SA-10. She's really good, man. You have hit the gold mine. She's really good. Uh, and that and blues for you. Or a blue, yeah. <laughs> uh, at 20 times, you have one more item slot. Healing is unnecessary. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, they just don't give a damn about global level. Uh, they probably never uh, will until the whales and JP give up on the game. Well, see, the thing is, when when JP gets shut down, global will probably get shut down too. Not not that far after. But yeah, they care about global. Um, they care about it more than people give it credit for. But the issues with Global stem back to day one of its release. And they, they just never had the ability to fix it. Um, and a lot of the issues are core issues between both games. Because neither game is particularly good in terms of like compensation. But part of it too it comes from the disparity in what one version gets you know in relation to the other one because neither is actually really good it's just kind of like well when one gets it a little better it's obviously noticeable and then there are uh, other issues and stuff like that but a lot of what global has is problems they've just simply had all the time and always have had and always will have that's unfortunate but it's the reality but i think they care about it a little bit more than they get credit for but not a whole lot uh okay so that's it yeah see ya we're just gonna defeat your whole rotation we don't care what you say we have double aoe units and there's no way to survive it <laughs> uh we gotta have to wait a lot longer for jiren dokkan awakening compared to jp i don't know about all that i, I think it's very very possible that jiren dokkan awakens within the next couple of months if he comes out when he's supposed to come out in a few days i think it's very possible that jiren actually dokkan awakens really soon like, I, I mean, I think it's really, it's very possible, to be honest. It just kind of depends when they want to drop SS Blue Evolution Vegeta, to be honest. Um, I don't want to say next couple of months, but definitely I don't think too far after the anniversary. I don't think it's, you know, that far off. Maybe three or four months max. Because they dropped UI Goku way early, so it kind of feels like he's awakening sooner than he should, which he is technically because he's bringing in the transformation mechanic, most likely unless they... To be released the second half of his passive, which I don't know why they do that again, but I guess I know why at the same time because they want the LRs to be special with that mechanic. So it remains to be seen, but still, I don't, I don't know. It's weird. Oh my gosh, tournament! You're such a grind. You're such a grind. Oh man. I wonder if uh, global game makers know that some of their player base follows what JP gets. 
Uh, they kind of act like nobody knows that, and I've talked about that before. They treat global, and and that's not the wrong mentality. That's the thing. That's not the wrong mentality from their perspective. I think that they're doing the right thing in thinking that yeah, well, this is for this audience, and this audience will be related to this and stuff. But they act like nobody knows what happens on JP and what JP gets, and when JP gets it. With the exposure on the internet, they can't really act that way. Which, I, again, I don't think it's the wrong mentality, but I don't think they should be doing that at this point. But, again, a lot of that stems from the number one issue with Global in that it's so far behind. Like, this doesn't happen on other games that are caught up, like, within a week of each other. Like, Blazing, this doesn't happen. If it does, it's very few and far between, and that's the main issue with Global. Everything it has can be traced back to that. <laughs> you know, because if things were at the same time, all of a sudden, they'd probably get the exact same compensation if there was a compensation because the errors would persist on both versions at the exact same time and things of that nature. That's really the main issue. Um, and they just they don't have the ability to fix that. Unless they decide to turn global into this money-sucking, fast-as-heck-paced game for the next, like, three or four months to rush stuff out, there's not a way to fix it. Uh, they broke the community and reformed it. <laughs> a new fill with memes. <laughs> yeah, the community got very meme-heavy. Post to be released. Oh, man. I think a lot of JP game makers have a nationalist mindset like a lot of games come out uh, only in JP, etc. Well, see, not that that's part of it, yes, but it's not because they only want them to come out in Japan. It's just if the game can't be competitive enough to complete to compete overseas, uh, then there's not really a, much point. Or if it can't even be competitive enough to compete in that market, that's not much point. you know. And, and if it doesn't come out of the, the gates with a very popular IP... Just immediately with a very popular IP, like something like Dragon Ball or Naruto or stuff, it has a very low chance of even getting localized. I mean, there are several anime games and good anime games that just don't get localized at all, you know? Uh, and that's part of what it is. Uh, the actual summon. I think global banners are tough, the actual summon. Uh, I don't know what you mean. Sorry. <laughs> Forgot what a TUR. This is the new trend. It's already happened. Uh, remember the three anniversary with the banner is a full showcase of the OG Gacha LRs. Uh, yeah, they did that. They put them all in there because actually, because because JP kind of realized that they never showed off those characters. If I know what you're talking about, they were like, oh yeah, well we never actually told these anybody that these characters were in here really. <laughs> so they put a whole thing in there of everyone, and they actually are all there now. Uh, speeding up to catch up would also result in a loss of revenue because people are always going to wail out on whatever banner. Yeah, exactly. And I'm not going to spend on every single banner concurrently like that. Like, that's that's way too fast-paced, and nobody would like that. Free players or paying players. Uh, so we're going to run through one more prelims, and then we're going to go because I'm, I'm honestly pretty tired. I was tired when I came in, but I was like, damn, I, I set that obligation, so I'm going to have to be there. <laughs> Like Heroes, after seven years, there's still no global version. You know, the funny thing about Heroes is it's been translated in their database for a really long time. Like, it's... Heroes can drop on a dime if they wanted to. Heroes could drop any freaking second. It is translated. It is ready to go. But they're not going to drop it, apparently. It's just sitting there. It's fully done. So... And it has been. Uh, do we think we'll see any other... Universe's characters in the upcoming DBS movie. I think it's possible. I don't think they'll have any prominent roles, though, if we do. I think they'll just kind of make a short spot in it. That's about it. But I think it's possible. They might just kind of show them for a split second just so... You know what that does? Showing them for a split second allows for them to establish that character in that movie, which then allows for them to make a uh, toy or things like that, which is all that, you know, the movies and, and shows and stuff are promos for games and toys and merch and stuff. That's it. I have the power of the credit card. Yeah, me too. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, with Global, Alarm Vegeta, and Mighty Mask are the only ones that haven't been featured. Yeah, on Global, they've all been freaking featured. I don't know if Gohan has been featured, has he? But for the most part, they all kind of get featured. Uh, a lot of people say licensing issues, which I don't quite understand. I mean, that's part of it. I think at this point, they kind of just had it, probably had some sort of issue and just kind of moved on and stopped caring. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how they handle the SS3 characters in the Darkness Toa in the second iteration of the Dragon Ball Hero stuff. Uh, you know, when that stuff comes back again. Well, I guess that would technically be the third iteration because the second time some characters awaken. But, yeah. Um, 
you know, it'll be interesting to see how they handle it that time. Because that'll really be telling as to, like, what their plans are for that. But honestly, I just think they don't care anymore about that stuff in particular. Uh, oh, hey, Broly. How about you just kind of sit down? Thanks. Because I don't want to deal with the super from you. I'm sorry. And this. But, yeah, I just kind of feel like, you know, licensing is such a weird finicky thing. Because you would think that since the Dragon Ball Heroes game was allowed to uh, release locally, like worldwide for the most part, they shouldn't have an issue with that. You know, you would think that way, but that's not how licensing works, unfortunately. So that could be it. Uh, physical Bergamo is still great out on JP. What do you mean? I have the unit. Uh, the other option is slowing down JP, but with all the money it's been constantly making for the last four months, they just won't slow down. Yeah, that's another thing they can do, but the thing is, that type of stuff was better suited for the last, like, year and a half. That's the issue. There were dead spirit, the dead spirits, dead up uh, periods in JP where it just wasn't doing anything. And one of, like, they kind of have them, like, every, like, other month. They have, like, a just completely dead month. Um... And that was not too long ago where JP wasn't doing anything. And it kind of like times like that, global should accelerate, in my opinion, just a little bit. Not crazy exponential pace, but just a little bit. So all of a sudden, the gap gets cut down from being four to six months for most things to being something like a month and a half. And then you just kind of keep doing that, and then it evens out. But there were times where JP or global looked like it was doing that, and they got really close. They got like within like three months, and then just kind of like stopped. It just it was weird. And then also... They started playing with the release schedules and characters and banners and stuff. And all this stuff is finicky. I mean, you look at these characters like the, the free-to-play Kabas and stuff. I mean, I don't really mind it at all. But it's like they're coming way early in relation to when they should be coming. So it just... Global just has made a lot of bad executive decisions that led to the reason why it's in the position it's in right now. Uh, do you think the Muscle Man in My Hero Academia could be... Uh, yeah, somebody asked me that last time. I thought that was possible. Uh, I think it's possible. I like watching the Damachi videos even though the game isn't for me. Yeah, I mean, if you don't enjoy the game or, you know, you've never tried it or what have you, then I appreciate that. I, I more so appreciate you checking them out. So, it, it's a really fun game. I enjoy it. I also really enjoy the anime. So, that's part of the reason why I really like it. Uh, Gohan was the best waifu, was she? <laughs> Gohan really is a waifu now. Uh, if you think about it, though, those heroes, SS3, kind of filled out Bardock's category. Yeah, they, they, they're they really nice options on that team. And also because they came out at the same time. Like, on JP, there was a period where SS3 Broly was running again. Uh, I, I forget for what reason. I think that they reran uh, an EZA or something like that. You needed SS3 Broly as an option for something. But he was live, uh, you know, and then – or maybe he was on Bardock's banner. I don't recall. Either way, and Bardock was live, and then the EZA banner for SS Goku, uh, LR Goku, excuse me, not LR, dang, I, I'm tired, man, uh, the SS3 Goku, his EZA banner was live, and the Dragon Ball Heroes banner with the SS3s on it was live, too, so all of a sudden, long story short, you had the option at that time, and I don't know if Global can do this because of the Heroes stuff, but you had that exact option at that time to go from not having a single SS3 unit for that category team to literally building the entire team on the banners that were available at that time just because of the sheer versatility that those banners brought. And they were just all really, really good. I personally haven't even completed mine in SA, so I've never used them in video ever. But those Trunks and uh, Gohan, more so the Gohan, are actually really, really good units. And Darkness Toa, she came out too. She's really good and Super Battle Road and stuff. When are you going to rainbow tech final form Frieza? <laughs> Don't do that, man. That guy is a relic, and he will never be rainbowed because he he is predetermined to be trash because he Dokkan awakens into a crappy golden Frieza. Uh, we had a small window to catch up in January, but instead they released Rage Vegeta, which wasn't bad since he is a great character, but it delayed Broly even more. Yeah, it's one of the things that, that, that you know, they had the option to do, but, you know, they kind of did things like that, which, you know, they they have those periods just every couple of months. They have an option to catch up, and they just don't, so... Um, it all started with the in, with the Gogeta and Omega release. That that actually was part of it. That that's that that's probably the biggest you know indicator of when Global started going rogue, <laughs> so to say. Uh, they started going rogue and just kind of releasing things randomly and at random times and stuff. I guess a more telling indicator would have been Super Kaioken Goku, but like that was a one-off thing, uh, especially because Vegeta turned out not to be exclusive, even though he was for several months. Um, 
you know, but that was kind of a one-off thing. But that banner, that, that dual release banner, kind of was the one that kind of made Global go rogue because it started so much mess. <laughs> so, Tobo's best wife who, yo, can confirm. Can confirm. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, and they had that SS3. Yeah, that's it, too. They also had the SS3 category banner that had uh, the SS3 GT characters on it. Uh, you know, the category banners that come out every time they have uh, those new category leads. They just bring out the category banner as well for 30 stones or whatever. Broly came back for the easy ASS3 Goku. Uh, he was featured on the banner. Yeah, that's what it was. I was like, man, I don't know. I don't recall exactly how that worked out. <laughs> oh, man. So, Curly waiting on LR Krillin. <laughs> Oh, uh, man. Oh, yeah. Bergamo can't awaken a TUR. Oh, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Yes, I was thinking that uh, he was going TUR, but one day maybe. Hopefully. My Bergamo's 100%ed on JP, so hopefully soon. Anyways, guys, thank you. I appreciate you guys. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I'm going to get some sleep. It's 1 a.m. I got to get up early and go to the gym. I'm also kind of losing my voice. So thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, have an awesome day or night, wherever you guys are. And uh, thank you for tuning out to this Twitch exclusive stream. So it means a lot to me. We're definitely going to do more of these. So make sure you do subscribe over on Twitch or follow, whatever you want to do. Uh, and thank you guys. So have an awesome day. I'll catch you guys in the next one.